right guys what is going on youtube this is man ray 17 here here to show you guys some proper gun safety so you guys don't end up like the dummies i've been seeing on instagram lately getting up close and nice to the uh, camera so you guys can see my face because for most of this we're going to be looking at these firearms today i'm going to show you guys how to unload and load the glock i got the trp out here for uh clout i guess you could say all right so first things first don't want you guys to end up like this guy i'm about to show you You dummy. Right now, don't do him. You can get the TRP out of the way. We're at my reloading bench, by the way. This is my single stage press for making some bullets. Got all my components right here. So, this is from my Beretta. Literally, it says right here. Always treat a firearm as if it were loaded. That's from this little guy. That's one book. This is from my 1911. Safety. Literally, an accident. It explains what an accident is. An unintentional or unexpected happening that is undesirable or unfortunate. Especially one resulting in injury, damage, harm, or loss. And it literally says right here, don't be the cause of an accident. Don't be a dummy, guys. Don't be a gun. dummy. Dummy. You dummy. Be a responsible fire owner, firearm owner, and I hope that's why you guys are here with me today. I got two more books for you guys. This is from my first gun, The Bursa Firestorm. Sorry if the camera, I got the light very, very heavy on. So I'm sorry if you guys can't see that. I'll probably put pictures in there. Another one. The first thing it says, treat every firearm as if it were loaded. One more time. This one just, uh, this is from my Browning High Power. It says, as a gun owner, you accept a set of demanding responsibilities. How seriously you take these responsibilities can mean the difference between life and death. Or you shooting yourself in the leg. There is no excuse for careless or abusive handling of any firearm. At all times, high, handle your 9mm high power and any other firearm with intense respect for its power and potential danger. One thing, whenever a gun is handed to you, even if you're at the gun store and the gun store employee... If the gun store employee hands you the gun after he just cleared it, hands you the gun like this. Even though it is a bit repetitive, it does make the gun store employee feel a little bit more safe when he knows or when he sees you actually unload the gun yourself. You don't, you're going to want to still clear it. You show him that you, you know what's going on. So right here, magazine release. I know it's kind of pointing in a little bit of my direction. Magazine release, slide lock. So the guy in the video, I show you guys actually, uh, he's unloading the gun to show you guys how to clean it. The only bad thing about a Glock's takedown is you actually have to oh, set the light off. You actually have to pull the trigger to take the gun apart. And the guy didn't even check the gun if it's clear. Always assume a gun is loaded. Always check that it is clear. Even if the first thing you want to do is take out the magazine. Even if it is a little press check or you check back. However, there is a video at the gun store of a guy actually shooting the counter when he was checking in a gun at the gun store I used to work at. Happens to everybody, that's why you always got to be vigilant whenever you're handling a gun. You always got to be on point. I'll never do drugs, never do anything crazy when you are handling a firearm. Whenever we go shooting, we even said we were going to bring a 12-pack, but, you know, no drinking gets involved until afterwards. So, let's go over the loading and unloading of this gun. Loading and unloading, and then I'm going to show you how to take it down properly. This is your magazine release. Slide lock lever takedown lever right here and you'll see that's what the guy is using in the uh, in the video but he doesn't even clear the gun first so you take out your magazine always first and the reason why is because if you don't take out the magazine first and you cock it like that if there is a round in there the slide is just going to go forward and chamber that round so that's why you always take out the magazine first so I'm going to go ahead and drop the slide 
I'm gonna take out the magazine, hitting this button right here. And I have my extended uh, 3D printed, um, extended mag, I don't know what you call it exactly, extended base plate uh, for when I usually have the 3D printed mag well on here, but I've since took that off. Magazine out, lock that side to the rear. I'm gonna check physically and visually. Put a finger in the chamber, finger into the gun, and this is where you wanna put your finger at, right into there where the bullet goes into the barrel right there. After you have checked the gun is clear, I drop the slide, and guess what I do whenever I'm about to pull the trigger? I check one more time. Now, I in one of my videos, I know it's a little bit longer video and I go very off topic a lot in that video, but that's usually a typical gun conversation which I'm doing right now and going off topic, so let's get back to it. You're gonna pull the trigger, and this is what he did wrong. You point it in a safe direction. I got nobody in front of me right here, even though my hand just swiped by the damn thing. You're gonna pull back slightly on those two tabs right there. You're gonna pull down. Let go. I got nails right now, so it's not really happening the cleanest. Comes right apart. And then he was talking about cleaning, but he never actually cleared the firearm. Most important thing you have to do before you take down a gun or handle it in any way. I have this right here too. Put it back here. This is a warning. This is from Springfield Armory as well. You risk injury or death by mishandling this firearm or any firearm. Moral of the story, guys. Check every firearm is clear. Don't be a dummy out there. Don't shoot yourself in the leg or worse, shoot somebody else. Injure somebody you don't intend to. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video on ARs, um, how to take them apart as well. Clean them so you don't you know, do a dummy mistake. I've been seeing a couple of things out there that I really don't agree with in the gun world right now. So I'll be doing some more videos on that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try not to be a dummy out there with your gun. And you guys stay frosty. <laughs>